Most of the time when you log into your database account with FastWeb, they may have a few pages of offers that your team possibly has no interest in, such as college loans or online classes or Army National Guard. At the top right corner of those pages, it gives you the option to skip this offer. You may have one or several, so just keep skipping to get to the scholarships. Notice the number of new scholarships. At the moment, it says zero new matches. What that really means is that since the last time I logged in, nothing new has shown up. That's because I logged in a few moments ago. You'll also see the total dollar amount. This is the potential value of the matches of scholarships that are available to my student right now. And this is the total number of scholarships that are available. Generally, I will ignore top scholarships. Why? Because they will also be in the full list and I'd rather order them by deadline. So instead of going through the top scholarships, go to see matches. When you go to see matches, the first thing you'll see is a scrolling list of additional scholarship opportunities, but they're not really scholarships. Most of these are going to be sweepstakes or random drawings. Go down a little further to actually see the matches. And if you'll notice, it says displaying one to 20 of 73 scholarships. So this is gonna be multiple pages. Also in this list, you'll see scholarships that are listed as featured. Featured are generally, again, things that are random drawings or sweepstakes. So you can choose whether or not to look through them, find out what they really are, and decide whether or not you wanna delete them. For me, I generally mark them as not interested. If you'll notice here on the right side of each scholarship entry, you can choose, I'm interested, I've applied, I've won, I'm not interested. So in general, for my student, we'll end up with not interested for these. And then you'll see that they have been put in this other tab titled not interested. Let's go back to our matches. Your scholarship matches can be ordered or organized in three different ways. You can organize them by name by clicking on the word name. You can organize them by amount of the award by clicking on award. It will go from the largest amount to the smallest. You can organize them by deadline. I prefer to keep mine organized by deadline because that allows me to hopefully not miss any deadlines for myself and my student. Now I want you to notice September 15th here is uh, not in order because this one is August 14th. Why? Because again, this is being featured or paid for by the sponsor to be placed in a prominent location where someone will see it. So again, it is probably just another random drawing, not a legitimate or a real type of scholarship with a real deadline. Uh, they may be giving this scholarship once or twice a year. Some of them are going to be every month. So you'll, you'll likely see them pretty often. So let's take a look at real scholarships, ones that might actually have something that the students should do. Arctic Physical Therapy Scholarship. I prefer to right click and open it in a new tab. That way I don't lose my place. So in that new tab, it will give me some general information. The award amount, the deadline, who provides it, and a little bit about the criteria. This one says you need a 3.0, have to be enrolled in or attending a university or an accredited college, going to need an essay under a thousand words and they tell you what the essay has to be about. So in less than 30 seconds, I know whether or not it's possible that my teen is going to qualify. If my teen has a 2.5 and this requires a 3.0, not happening. So I can toss it and keep going. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. We get more information, more info about the eligibility, must be a resident, and here's the deadline again. If I go to application, I get a little more info and I find out my student will have to actually fill out everything online and they'll place their essay here. It's always best to write the essay in a Word document and then just copy and paste it when they're ready and then submit. Always check out the rest of the website. 
because you never know if you're going to get any additional information. For example, previous winner. It's always good to check that out because you never know what information you may find. Sometimes they'll actually give you the entire essay that the last year's winner wrote. So if I think this is a scholarship that my teen would want to apply to, I would take the URL from the website, copy it, and then place it in the scholarship spreadsheet. And whatever additional information that I want to place in the spreadsheet and save it. But what about that new Gmail email inbox? Ignore it. Remember, the new email account will be inundated with lists of scholarships several times a day. The databases are paid to show you a list of scholarships that your teen may not even have an interest in. So ignore the new Gmail inbox. Your assignment today is to register and do your first national database search.